Recently, I have reviewed Slash GPT. This AI tool you can use to bypass all AI content detectors, including copy links, content at scale, or even the writer.com. So, after that, I have used this platform to generate around 12,000 words, and all these words bypass the content detectors. So, in this video, I am going to give you a detailed comparison and give you a live demo actually how this platform works. And for the better example, I have created or generated a content around the 500 words using the chat GPT. So first I am going to analyze it with all the AI content detectors. After that, I will put it in the slash GPT, modify it, use it one single click. And after that, we will again analyze whether it's actually the bypass all AI content detectors or not. So let's get started this comparison video where I am going to compare slash GPT with all the famous AI content detectors. So first let's go to the chat GPT. AI here I have generated an article. This is the 500 around words article I have generated. So this is the basically give you the quick overview how the things work out. So normally that's how we use. We go to the chat GPT then modify manually. But here I'm not going to do it manually because it takes time and an effort. So our article is generated. Let me copy it now. Let's go to the some famous uh, AI content detectors. Like first one we have the AI copy leaks. So just paste it here. Click on the scan and let's see whether it's actually the human generated or the AI content detected. Here you can see the loading bar is loading. So we have to wait around the five or 10 seconds more. So we got the results. So best part of the copy list is not only detect the AI content, but it's also analyze the plagiarism. Okay. So you can see as for the match means the plagiarism, it is the 28.7%. And as for the AI content, you can check it here. It's 100% AI detected <laughs> means we are failed with the chat GPT. Now let me, uh, again analyze it with different other tool that this time we are going to use the content at scale here. So let me paste the content, click on the uh scanning and now it is scanning here you can see and here we got hard to tell means it's something like the ai generated and human all this uh, uh, orange parts you can see here orange uh, markups means these are the ai detected content but somehow we are going to get here the something 50 50 with the uh, content at scale now let me use the another AI detector that is the by uh, writer.com. So I'm going to paste my article here and click on the analyze test and let's see this time what we got. Okay, on the writer.com, it is suggesting me 100% human generated. So as for now, we also understand for the different AI detectors, they are the different criteria. So again, let me use one more tool here. That is the scriber. So this is the free AI content detector you can use. By the way, all these AI detectors that I have used right now on the this video are the free and offer free to some extent. Okay. So again, paste the content here. Click on the analyze test and let's see it is analyzing. And here we also got the 100% generated by the AI. So means after using or testing out in the four tools, we got the almost in three tools, 100% AI generated content expect from the writer.com. Okay. So means we need to modify this content. Otherwise we are going to penalize with the uh, Google if we are going to add it in our blog. So now what I am going to do, I am going to again copy this content from the chat GPT. Now let's go to the slash GPT here and paste the content here and click here on the generate. Now what slash GPT will do, it is going to analyze the content and it is going to rewrite the content in the more human like way. So it's going to bypass all the AI content detectors we have used till now. So we have to uh, wait until uh, okay, our content is generated here and the, here is the content. Although there are the no that kind of the layouting option because we have put the in the really good layout here, but the generated content is not that kind of the layout, but still we can do it in the our writing time. Let me copy it here and now analyze it with starting again with the copy leaks. Okay, so Okay, let me go to the new scan here. Click on the text, paste the content, click on the scan. Now again, it will take around the 30 seconds to scan all these content. And after that, we will get whether it's actually the this time human generated or the AI content. And here are the results. No match 0% AI content detection is 0% means this content is 100% like the human. Otherwise here we will got the AI content or the match content, but 
we are getting the 0% AI content detection. So this is the power of Slack GPT. Now also let me do it with in the uh, content and scale. So let me remove all this per and paste it again. Let's click on the scan for AI content and now we will got yes passes as the human so this is the good part again now let me go to the writer.com so although i don't believe this ai content detector in the writer.com but still let me analyze it with it because most people use this writer.com because this is the free and you can see how they misguiding this platform is actually and now let's see whether in the other platform we are passing the ai content detection and whether in the writer.com this time it's actually it's passing as the human or not and here also we got the 100% generated content. Now let me go to the, our last, last platform that is the Scriber. So let me refresh the page first, add the content, click on the analyze and now let's see. So after trying the multiple times, I think in the Scriber AI detection, there is some issue going on. That's why it is not analyzing the content. So I use the GPT here this is the zero gpt by the way and here i use this platform to analyze it and this is the text i have pasted and here you can see your text is human written means slash gpt is actually working it's bypass all the ai content detectors most of the time here plus if i talk about the these are the some configuration settings you can do it here if i click here you can see slash mode you can choose low medium and high and according to that this configuration it is going to generate the content and not only it is helping to bypass the content it actually shows you in the real time so you don't need to go every time here on the ai content detection tools and test it out whether it's actually the human generated or the ai detected okay you can check out overall scroll here so this is the 78 means the bypassing is the really actually done here you can see the similarity score means it is actually showing the relevancy with the your uh, paste content here and the rewriting content here then this is the grammar score means grammar is also actually good spelling score all the spellings are really good here and this is the select score this is the 66 means 66 percent it is the bypassed all the content this is basically the uh, insights given by the Slack GPT to helping you. So you don't need to actually go to the all the platforms there. There's also the AI checker itself uh, offering by the Slack GPT here. Just add to text here and click on the analyze. And in the real time, it will also show you whether the AI detections is the available in your content or not. So these are all the features I have showed you in the Slack GPT. So many of you want to know what are the pricing of this amazing bypassing tool. So if I go to the pricing section there, you can see it's charging on the monthly and the annual subscription and starting from the that is the really going to dent on your pocket because it is starting from the around the 14.99 dollars per month just for the 100k worth per month here in the annual it will be around the 100 dollars per month but don't worry because i am here in the slash gpd let me tell you that this lifetime deal is available on the app so we're starting from the 49 dollars you don't need to pay the uh, annual or the monthly subscription prices because you are going to get it with the one-time payment here so if i go to the plans and features starting from the 49 dollars and here you are getting the 125 words per month every month these words will be going to renewed in your account and this is the same plan i am using on slash gpt here you can see the plan words 20 125k words every month and this is a tier one you can actually see it here so there are the other plans as well if you are doing a lot of ai content then i think you should go with the tier two and the tier three plan in the tier two you are going to get 500k words and in the tier three you are going to get 1500k words every month here this is the best part you are going to get but if you are the individual like me uh, and you do very low ai content then i think the tier one plan as well good for you and there's also the six days money back guarantee but the sad part slack jeopardy is going to leave app sumo soon so they are the only three days remaining before this deal is going to end it on the app sumo and this is the right chance to get this platform because after that i don't know whether you are going to get this deal or not and the only way after that slack jeopardy is using you have to buy their monthly or the yearly subscription charges and i don't want to do it right now because this is the last chance only three days remaining and if you want to know more about this slash gpt you want to get detailed overview then i suggest go watch this video on my youtube channel you can also find the link in the description so that's all for today's video i actually reviewed the slash gpt with all the famous ai content detectors like the copy leaks like the content at scalewriter.com and we find out that most of the times 
Slack Shepard is actually the really good. Around the 99% is bypass all the AI content detectors out there in the market, and even the turn it in. Basically, Slack Shepard is telling here that this is the only platform out there that can bypass the turn it in. So that's all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to hit the like button and subscribe my channel. You can also check out all the other cool videos on my channel here. So take care and bye bye. I will see you in the next one.